of another video beer review then today i've got a beer from a brewery i've wanted to try for a while it's from the s43 brewery they're out of county durham in the northeast of england and this is their you're not you when you're thirsty so it's an imperial stout coming in at nine percent abv yeah my mate good friend dan popped this round to me just after uh lockdown ended around about sort of early to mid july um he, i don't know where he picked it up from um i know he paid six pound 69 for it um but yeah really do appreciate it dan thanks a lot mate i uh, finally got round to uh giving this a review it's cooled down a bit now sort of late summer early autumn uh so s s43brewery.com is their website um i put all their information down below but yeah a brewery i've been really wanting to get my hands on um just out of curiosity there's 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 been a few breweries this year that have popped up um and i've, I've got round to one of them this is the next one on my kind of list to do an order from uh, eventually so you're not you you when you're thirsty so it's an imperial peanut butter fudge stout nine percent abv as i already said um so it says what's in it it's got all the information on the back of the can which is absolutely fantastic so the hops in this are challenger uh, the malts then are pale munich biscuit crystal oats and chocolate uh, the yeast is Br uh, english ale 007 um extras are lactose and cacao nibs allergens are gluten barley and wheat uh, oats and lactose milk um store cold and upright drink fresh may contain sediment um best best before the 31st of april of 2021 not i repeat not vegan friendly and does not contain nuts right that's enough 440 mil can then let's crack it open then and see what we get out of this one i'm drinking this or cracking this at room temperature so it's not chilled or anything so um although it's been a bit cooler in this back room today so i actually got out of the fridge yesterday but it generally has been in the fridge let's generate a bit of a head on this thing then as it's nine percent yeah let's straighten it up a little bit it's done what i wanted it to do oh that looks a really lovely creamy looking head mega tightly packed bubbles on that one look at that and there's a nice line of uh, carbonation streaming up the glass so it's a one finger um, medium tan colored head but really creamy sort of chocolate mousse type head into the light it's jet black there's nothing coming through there on the on the bulb just above the camera um Oh, what a lovely looking beer. So, give this beer an aroma. So, I mean, you're not you're not you when you're thirsty. It's kind of a take on um, the Snickers bar here in the UK, so, uh, which is pretty cool. You're not you when you're hungry. That's their slogan. Anyway, aroma. <laughs> Blimey. It reminds me of um, the shell of uh, monkey nuts. I used to have a uh, yellow-headed Amazon parrot, and that was one of his favourite treats. Um, going back about 10 years ago or so. What are we at now? Yeah, 10 years ago. That was one of his treats, and the whole room smelt of it. It was just one of them things. And it, This is what I'm getting on the aroma. <laughs> yeah, monkey nuts, the shells, that, that kind of um that kind of nut oily milk milky chocolate as well on that not very roasty but yeah it's all very subtle but very very well kind of um rounded and yeah almost a slight sweetness to that as well so let's give it a try on the taste and see what we get cheers cheers dan mate appreciate it Oh wow, very smooth. That's the re that's the thing. It says drink 
what does it say? Store cold. It's generally been cold. And the warmer the heat waves and stuff in August. It's been generally in, in the fridge. It's only the last day or so when it's cooled down a hell of a lot. I've actually brought it out, ready to review. So it has generally been stored cold. But yeah, really nice. So what am I getting then? I'm getting quite a dry, almost like to the point of a roasted peanut kind of vibe to it. Milk chocolate. Slight hint of caramel. Definitely a drying kind of peanut essence. Very sweet. There's a sweetness that's lingering on the on on the upper part of the palate. Again, for the body, uh, it's probably a medium upper medium body. It's not a crazy gloopy thick imperial stout, but not by any means. So in true Paul theme, it's a bit thin. Only a little bit thin. But yeah, still an upper end of a medium body. Um, very easy drinking um, for 9%. 9%, yeah. Um, A really nice kind of season changing kind of beer to set yourself up into the autumn kind of months. You know, peanuts, that kind of thing. It's a perfect time of year for it. But yeah, very smooth, very drinkable. No hint at the ABV, that's the main thing. It's not a boozy kind of imperial stout, not, not by any kind of stretching imagination but slightly creamy apart from that I mean it's definitely got that kind of monkey nut-esque flavour milk chocolate as I already said but it's not much else kind of setting it apart there is a bit of a roasty toast a roasted malt kind of characteristic going through the beer um, it's very easy drinking it, it, you know th there's no hint of that ABV as already said it's, it's just super smooth this is all at room temperature as well so um, but a, a really nice beer um, it's leaving a little bit of alcohol legs there we go you just about see there's a couple of little bits and bats there, but there is a coating on the glass, so that that would be my my inclination to a a higher ABV beer. Just just a little bit of that coating on on the inside of the glass, not the outside, of course, because it's in the glass. But do you know what I'm saying? Um, there is a few signs it's a higher ABV beer, but it's just definitely not on the taste. Maybe a little bit on the body, I guess the upper end of a medium for me. Um, but even sometimes, even like um, just swirling it around, and then it generates a nice kind of like kind of roasty, toasty head. Um, that be there's a, there is clues that it's a higher ABV beer, but it's very nice though, very pleasant. Um, it's, it's, it's a peanut butter stout, but it's, it, there is a drying quality to it, more more of, of, a, of a peanut butter shell, or, the, or the, the peanut shell, not peanut butter. Well, it says peanut butter, but it, man, there is a slight oiliness to it, peanut butter-esque, but it's just... Um, for me, it's monkey nut, monkey nut shell, dry, with a little bit of that kind of peanut oil, giving it a kind of peanut butter-esque kind of flavour. But yeah, very nice overall, very, very, very pleasant beer. 
um, very well hidden ABV. Very nice introduction to the brewery, for sure. So, um, yeah, it'd be nice to try some of their other styles out. But, yeah, this one is uh, very pleasant indeed. Um, quite a dangerous beer, although, you know, with the ABV in mind. But, but then also, I, I wouldn't want to drink a lot of a peanut butter beer anyway, no matter what the ABV is. So, um, it wouldn't really kind of... Um, wouldn't be influenced by it anyway um whether the abv is at four percent or nine percent it you know i'll just have one and move on so uh but yeah very nice overall so uh thank you very much um to my good friend dan really do appreciate it brother um so let's get into a rating then i still like it i still think it's very good I'm giving this a straight 8 out of 10, so that's a 4 out of 5 on the untapped scale. Over to untapped then, this has had 754 total check-ins, so not loads, and only 13 in the last 30 days, so some people have held on to this beer a while. Um, it's had 669 total ratings as, at the time of recording, and it's coming in at 3.92, so just underneath the old 4 out of 5 for untapped, but it's pretty much it's there or thereabouts um for me it's a straight four or an eight out of ten let me know if i did this beer from uh s43 brewery um or anything else from them uh that you think we sh should be getting hold of um i don't know what what availability do they do a monthly kind of thing i need to check their website out more i've been on a few times and almost pulled the trigger a few times and stuff like that but um yeah it's certainly a brewery um, up and coming in the UK to look out for but by what I've seen and read and, and heard and going by this beer um, it could be certainly a brewery to watch out for so um, so yeah hopefully I'll get some more in the future over the winter months and um, we'll, we'll form more of a my my kind of take on them but yeah so far so good this is a lovely beer um, one to watch out for for sure uh, in 2021 anyway thanks for joining me um let me know what you think of this beer as i've already said um if you're new to the channel please subscribe give us a thumbs up on the way out and i'll see you on the next video cheers <laughs>